Good morning everyone. In childhood, we often get small injuries during play. But the bleeding stops within 3 to 5 minutes by itself as the blood thickens, right? We say the blood clots. So, if the blood did not clot, anyone with even a slight wound would bleed a lot. So, so clotting of blood is very important. So, how does the blood clot? We know that platelets have something to do with blood clotting. Now, let us see how the job is done. When we get a cut, it actually damages the blood vessel too. If the blood vessel is not damaged, blood wouldn't flow out as the blood remains inside the vessel only. So when the blood vessel gets damaged, the platelets release an enzyme called thrombokinase. Thrombokinase acts on the blood protein, prothrombin and converts it into thrombin. Now, thrombin acts on the glycoprotein named fibrinogen and converts it into fibrin. Fibrin is insoluble and it has fiber-like structure. Now, the blood cells get entangled in the fiber protein and form a clot that blocks the damaged portion of the vessel and the bleeding stops. The straw yellowish color fluid that we often see after blood clotting is called serum. It is actually blood plasma without any blood cells. You know, normally the blood that oozes out from a wound clots in about 3 to 8 minutes. But in some, having vitamin K deficiency takes more time. And this is because of genetic disorder, the blood may not coagulate, that is, the blood may not clot. This disease is called hemophilia and this disorder is generally found in the children who are born from marriages between very close relatives. So that was all about blood clotting. Bye-bye.